Brand new water test results released today in the Flint water crisis. This is we get our first look inside the state's new emergency management center that is working to help the people of Flint. It tops our news at 5.30. We've got several new developments to talk about today in the Flint water crisis. Mayor Karen Weaver updated the progress of her plan to replace lead pipes in the city. And at the same time, Governor Snyder released results of the first round of tests of the water coming out of the taps. As Jason Colthorpe shows us, there's reason to be hopeful in that, as well as how the state is now housing its resources to tackle this crisis. About three weeks ago, the State Emergency Operations Center moved here to a state police facility just outside of Lansing. It was right in the middle of the Flint water crisis, but so far, the governor's office says the move has been seamless. It has a high tech feel to it before you even walk through the doors with the daily schedule on a flat screen and can accommodate the extra people needed for an emergency like Flint. Today, Governor Snyder personally thanked the 40 plus staff from different agencies who've been working tirelessly here. FEMA's here, the Red Cross, um, so many local partners. They're tracking everything that's possible in terms of trying to make this a better situation. Then it was down to business, which today is new test results. Water tested for lead from 175 homes between February 10th through 14th shook out this way. 156 samples were below the action level of 15 parts per billion, or 90%. Of those, 136 were below 5 parts per billion, which doctors say is the safe level. 19 samples exceeded the action level, and of those, 5 were higher than 100 parts per billion. And this is where you don't want to overread into this because we don't know what they were even going back a year or two. But what we're doing is, in for the higher places, we actually send in a team. Um, within 48 hours. Um, for the 150 above, it's 48 hours. The 100, it's seven days or less. One of the biggest issues for the people of Flint remains trust. And that's why when these test results were collected, it consisted of three people, a member of the DEQ, a licensed plumber, and a member of the community. Still a long, long way to go, though. In Lansing, Jason Coulter, Local 4. All right, thank you, Jason. Data is being collected for the next seven weeks at places called Sentinel sites across the city. About 1,900 people volunteered to have their water tested. Ahead of 545, consumer investigator Hank Winchester has a look at how some Flint residents could be making big mistakes when seeking out legal help.